So here is the after. And they're going to remember what they sent because it was hideous. Here's some spots where it's still, you know, got some residue left behind. And the nice thing is the bangs still work beautifully. It's, but, uh, yeah, it's still got a little bit of schmutz in there. But uh, overall, I mean, this thing, I have footage of what it looked like before I got it. And it was ridiculous. And this one, because it was just so caked up, it, it literally took hours and hours to clean it. And it still has got some stuff here. It's a lot like this one over here, which was just the worst. I literally got underneath there with a screwdriver to scrape this stuff off just to even get at it. But you can see I did the bottom and it looks great. This part I couldn't quite fit in. I could fit parts of this and I could get parts of this here. But because of the thickness of it, it's just really, really difficult. And then this, these particular parts I did immerse for quite a while. They were completely coated. And now this stuff, it's, it's, you know, still a little tacky, but you could almost peel it off. So it's just time. It's just time. These were probably the dirtiest things I've ever had to do, but you can see where, where the cleaning started right here, down to there. But yeah, I mean, this stuff can be done. It just needs to be in a bigger machine. I only had this, I had these two and the 40 kilohertz worked so much better than the 25, it's not even funny. So much better. But yeah, it's just, it's just a matter of time until these get cleaned. And then when they do, you know, get a cleanliness procedure in place and they're doing these things on a regular basis, you know, it, it won't take as long then, you know, it'll just be easier. But I used, uh, I used our Incatine at about a one-to-one -one in that. One-to-one, -one, maybe a little bit less. So it was between, you know, 33% and 50% detergent. But it worked. It flat out worked. And, you know, the proof's right there. And then this piece, of course. So I think... Uh, and then this, this is a shop rag. That's what's underneath here. It was a shop rag. I didn't figure it out until now. I just realized it was a uh, fabric. Yeah, there was a shop rag up underneath there. I thought it was some sort of weird ink stuff. Nope, nope, rag. So anyway, um, this was a successful test. It was a long test, don't get me wrong, but it was successful. And it's only like that because I rinsed it off with uh, tap water afterwards. Incotene in of itself has a, uh, a mild RP built into it, so it won't rust.